My name is Jan Kasperwitz. I'm a chiropractic uh, physician. I'm also a sports recovery specialist and I'm 43 years old. New Jersey Chiropractic and Sports Recovery is a facility where we treat uh, everyday patients, but majority of our patients are athletes. Uh, our goal is to basically speed up the recovery process. Chiropractic actually helps the the brain communicate better with the spine through uh, nerve interaction. So if there's a bone out of place in your spine, those muscles or organs or even other innervations where the nerves go to aren't gonna be functioning properly. It's more of a holistic approach. A lot of times when people have a shoulder issue or a knee issue sometimes, maybe it's not the shoulder or the knee giving them the actual issue, that's just where the symptoms are. You have to actually determine where the actual issue is. So first thing we do, we do about a two to three minute core activation session, and then our see the clients and we do, we do stretching of the quadriceps, hamstrings, glutes, and the other muscles that might be tight. Then we do chiropractic, chiropractic manipulative therapy, making sure all the vertebrae of the spine are moving properly. And then our trainer sees the client for about 35 to 40 minutes for our total body conditioning program. If you are training at above 80% of your maximum heart rate, uh, for more than 15 minutes, majority of that glycogen has been used up as a source of fuel and then your body needs another source of fuel. So then it goes, instead of burning fat for fuel, or burn muscle for fuel. But if you can maintain a heart rate between 50 to 80% of your maximum heart rate for that entire 60-minute um, workout, primarily you are only burning fat for fuel. So if you want to achieve pure actual body composition change, you want to use a heart rate training. When we do heart rate training, is all of our clients and patients get a heart rate monitor that, that hooks up with them. or with their iPhone. We have an iPad here too, so we could constantly monitor where their heart rate is and adjust different exercises because some exercises will elevate your heart rate, some exercises bring them down. The big thing is we have people who will come in here who look fit, but they're not healthy. So we encourage everybody to get an in-body scan first because although you may look fit and you may not be overweight, that doesn't necessarily mean you're healthy. There's a huge, huge difference. When you see the people on the covers of magazines and you see all these people who are ripped and you see all these abs on the beach, that's not necessarily healthy. Your body needs a certain percent of body fat. And utilizing the in-body technology with the kind of program that we've put together, it's first and foremost about getting you healthy, but also achieving a certain level of fitness. Oh. Five reps.